private school for children from preschool to the eighth grade. It's located right here in Morgan. Now just think about this just a second. You also realize that, that from the standpoint of getting vaccinated, I firmly believe that we should be respectful of everybody, no matter what their wishes are. You know, whether they are vaccinated or aren't vaccinated, we should be respectful. But I truly believe in my heart that the only way we're going to get out of this thing is that the more people are vaccinated, the less people will die. And so with all that, we had a kind of a contest. The guy that runs the state board of edu or the state uh, education department, who's the superintendent of all the schools, his name's Clayton Birch. And so Clayton says, hey, what let's do. Let's have a contest, basically, and let's award $25,000, $25,000 to the school that absolutely is, has the highest percentage of people that are vaccinated. Then I said, no, Clayton, let's double it. Let's make it $50,000. And he said, all right, we'll do that. We'll make it $50,000 to the school that has the highest percentage of kids that are vaccinated. And so then we said, hey, he said, well, we'll do it for elementary school, a middle school, and a high school. And I said, we'll also do it for a private school, won't we, Clayton? And he said, absolutely, we'll do it if that's what you want to do. And I said, that's exactly what we should do, exactly what we should do. We shouldn't exclude anyone, anyone whatsoever. And lo and behold, you, of all people, you, and everything, and I mean that in a positive way. Here we are sitting in Morgantown at the Morgantown Learning Academy. Now just think about it. Just think about it. You, against 77 other schools that entered, you won $50,000 for your school. <laughs> director and so here it is and it's official it says morgantown learning academy fifty thousand dollars from my name right there for doing such a fabulous job in your vaccination so way to go congratulations to all of you. so baby dog baby dog and i I guess going down the road now, but we congratulate you. We know you're going to do all kinds of great stuff, and I have some more notes on that. Let me just, you know, here's just a couple of things. Is during the pandemic, many of our end of the year in events were canceled. If selected, we will use the funding to bring back annual fine arts ex exhibition for families and the community, as well as a field day. And uh, with all the pomp and circumstances of our graduation and promotional ceremonies, listen, you guys, I mean, I know, Director, that you're doing an incredible job, and I know the teachers that are here just do great work. And you guys, before you know it, you know, just the other day, believe it or not, I was you. And now, today, I've gotten a little chunkier. And Baby Dog and I eat a lot of nuggets together. <laughs> and, but I am telling you just this. Before you turn around several different times, you can do anything in this life. You know, my grandparents never had indoor plumbing. Honest and true, they had an outhouse. And, and really, I started with nothing. Nothing. And along the way, you make your way all the way to being governor. Anything you want to do is possible. Anything. All you got to do is just dig in and work really hard, make great grades, do good stuff, and absolutely love one another. It's really important. Really, really important. I'm really proud of all of you. Thank you all so much for having me.